Hi guys, my name is Silver Fox and welcome back to Memories of East Coast. Last episode was a bit rough, but we got through it all right. And I'm very excited to see what happens next. But before we get into this, if you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like. And if you want to see what happens next and support my channel, subscribe. Now, let's go. Okay, so last one we left off. Uh, Lisa wanted to know if we want to hang out for the day and we are off and I don't I'm not gonna ignore her we are going to reply <laughs> it's still early in the morning but I mean why not it's very early right now too <laughs> so if my voice sounds weird you know why <laughs> where should we go oh great let's meet up at the park yay <laughs> I'm not used to go somewhere far from here. It's okay. The park sounds good to me. The view there is amazing. It is. It is. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> I want to go there. Yeah, I know, right? So text me when you're there. It's going to be walking distance for me, so. Right, I'm going to get ready and I'll see you soon. Aww. That's cute. You decided to go to the East Coast again today. I think they like need each other because they both lost their parents. I, th I think they like need a friend. <laughs> Are you going to tell Lisa what happened 15 years ago? Oh, narrator, I'm not sure about that. I might tell her. I think I might tell her. I don't want to upset her and like chase her away though. I might tell her, but she, she like deserves to know. I'll, I'll have to think about that one. You decided to come as early in the day as possible. In your mind, you couldn't stop thinking if you should tell Lisa about what happened 15 years ago. I'm also wondering, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't want to like hurt her, but she deserves to know. Poor Lisa. I'm not sure if I should tell her what happened that day. Friends, I bet it would hurt a lot, but I'm sure she could handle it. Or maybe not. I don't know. I'm as worried about this as Sam is, oh dear. <laughs> Your mind is struggling to either make a confession upon the truth and risk unbreaking the girl's heart. <laughs> or would you rather act innocent and never tell Lisa what she didn't know? I don't know. You have arrived at the East Coast. You went straight to Leisure Park to find Lisa. Oh, I don't know when they're gonna make me choose. I know they're gonna make me choose. This background is beautiful. I only use it as my wallpaper. You waited for Lisa at the gazebo. That's so pretty. After a few minutes, you realized you should have texted her. Oops. <laughs> yeah, probably. Hey, I have arrived. You waited for a reply. It's been 10 minutes. Is she okay? Did something happen? Look behind you. Oh, she's fine. She's here. <laughs> Lisa just replied your text. Asking you to look behind. Oh! As soon as you turned around. Surprise! <laughs> Yay! Surprises! <laughs> you scared me! That would scare me to death, actually. <laughs> oh my god, look at your face. That's mean. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Lisa just surprises you from behind. That's very cute. How cute was that? <laughs> Aww. She was holding two ice cream with her. Nah, she brought us ice cream? Oh, That's adorable. <laughs> Here. Take one. It's for you. Oh, thank you. That's very sweet of you. <laughs> You're welcome. I just wanted to repay your kindness. I know it's an 
I know it's just an ice cream, but that's all I can do. Oh, I mean, you didn't have to. I did nothing, really. Now you accompanied me yesterday. Didn't you remember I was all alone here? Uh, yes. I remember that. Well, I was actually kind of sad yesterday. No. I'm glad, like, we, we made our day. I think we made it feel a little bit better. <laughs> Sometimes I feel so lonely. See, she needs a friend. And today, it's actually my birthday. Oh my god, happy birthday! <laughs> I'm not singing. You're, you're not gonna get me to sing. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. And I was feeling sad that I couldn't celebrate my birthday with anyone. I used to celebrate with my grandpa. But now he's no longer here. Don't worry. I'm here. Sam's here. Silver's here. And everybody is watching us here. We'll get some happy birthdays in the comments for Lisa. <laughs> I'm here. Happy birthday to you, Lisa. I should be the one getting that ice cream for you, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. <laughs> you don't have to. You already did yesterday. I mean... Will you spend the day with me, Sam? Oh, We're friends. We're buddies. Well, of course. It's your birthday after all. We shouldn't... We probably shouldn't tell her on her birthday. Um, oh, thank you, Sam. You're welcome. Mm. It's Lisa's birthday today. Oh, don't you, don't you start, please. I know. It would be stupid of you to tell her the truth. You decide not to say anything regarding what actually happened 15 years ago. I think that might be a smart decision. Like, not on a birthday. That's that's a bad idea. You, you don't want to ruin her birthday. You spent the whole day with Lisa talking and eating ice cream that she brought for the two of you. You told her how you're so into unicorns that you thought they actually exist. She shared only funny stuff. You shared only funny stuff with her today. You just don't want to ruin the day for her. Exactly. I just want her to have a nice day. Oh my god, Sam, that was funny. <laughs> Thanks for making me laugh like crazy today. It's been a long time since I laughed like this. She needed a friend. Like, she can't be completely alone. I'm so lucky to have met you. You are truly an amazing friend. I feel so lucky to have met you. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not usually this funny. But I try my best. Oh, shut up. <laughs> well, it's getting late now. We should go. All so soon. But. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Yeah, maybe it's not a good idea to be walking around the park at night. Just saying. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. I had lots of laughs today and it was fun. You're welcome. Happy birthday again, Lisa. Thanks. Oh, it's adorable. Lisa had fun spending time with you today. After you walked her home and said goodbye to her, you drove yourself home. Isn't that like a long drive? Oh, the narrator's gonna yell at me again. What did I do this time? Well, maybe not today. Yeah, <laughs> someday we will tell her. Well, that was fun. I feel so bad right now, though. I made her feel comfortable with me. Little that she know, I'm the one to blame for the accident that killed both her parents. You're not, and I think she will understand. <laughs> she deserves to know. Hmm. I should get some rest. They, like, both need some peace of mind. And, like, sharing this, it'll help. <laughs> I hope. 
dead? Sam? What? Not your head, you idiot. Huh? Are we, are we dreaming? We're dreaming, Andre. Sammy. Mom. Listen to your dad. What is happening? Sam, this is all your fault. That's Trisha. That was Lisa's mom. What? No. Oh, she's dreaming. And Alex was... Uh, Lisa's dad, I think. Yes. I didn't mean to. It's not her fault. She wasn't in control of it. Are you silly? You killed your parents. No. You killed us too. You're the cause of all of this. It's just her conscience speaking. She has to, like, tell someone. <laughs> Sam, I'm disappointed with you. She was a kid. Me too. Why can't you be behave like other children? You're guilty. You're not a child. Never would be. Guilty. What? No? Guilty. Oh, shame. She's like beating herself up too much. She has to speak to Lisa about this. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. You didn't. It's okay. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I legit looked down at my phone to see who was phoning me. I thought it was me. <laughs> I had that ringtone set. I don't know why. <laughs> oh my god, okay. <laughs> oh, what a nightmare. Sam, you have to speak to Lisa about this. It's just gonna keep bugging her. And it's gonna really break her. Shame. <sighs> you just woke up from a nightmare. It was about the incident that happened 15 years ago. Luckily, your phone rang and woke you up from it. You checked your phone. Two missed calls, three unread messages. Whoa. Someone's really looking for us. <laughs> you received two missed calls you received two missed calls and three unread messages from Lisa I hope she's okay like good morning <laughs> okay if somebody phoned me awake like that three times I would be so mad hey Sam I have something to tell you please text me when you're awake I'm scared I'm not gonna call her calls are scary <laughs> She said text, text me, so I'm texting. <laughs> hey, wait, hey, what's up? Hey, I thought you were going to leave me. What? Oh, no. Oh, sorry. I wouldn't do that. I'm just too tired. I just woke up. Oh, it's okay. So what do you want to tell me? Oh, that. Can we meet up and I can tell you in person? Oh dear. Sure, the park? Yes, she seems excited, so I don't think it's bad news. Alright, I'll be there soon. I uh, hope it's... it's a, oh, please don't let me bad news! <laughs> After taking breakfast, after taking breakfast, you went straight to Leisure Park. You arrived late today. Lisa was nowhere to be seen. Oh my god, I'm nervous. Why do these games make me so nervous? I, like, I get so attached to the characters that when something happens, it's like I can sympathize with the situation and just kills me. <laughs> Where is she? As you waited for Lisa, an ambulance siren is heard in the distance. Please no. Is that an ambulance? Please don't do this to me again. Please game. The siren seems to be close by, yet fades yet the sound fades away in a few seconds. But it didn't bother you. 
It's bothering me. You have waited for almost half an hour. Oh, please. You decided to call Lisa. Not answer. That's weird. Please don't do this to me again. Game? Don't. I'm gonna cry again and it's not good. <laughs> please. Why didn't she answer my call? Maybe she's just busy. I hope. Another surprise. Maybe. Or did she know? You wonder why she didn't pick up the call. Yeah, she wouldn't have known, but... Oh, I hope nothing bad has happened. What is happening? You waited for an hour calling, texting Lisa. Go to her house. You know where she stays. Go. <laughs> You decide to visit her shed instead. Yes, please. I hope she's okay. Maybe she's like cooking something. I don't know. You walked into the shed. Hmm. Looks like there's nobody around. You try to call Lisa out. Hello? Hey, it's me, Sam. Are you there, Lisa? Um. Weird. Please let her be okay. You waited for a few minutes, but still no one is coming out. You decided to just go home. Well, that was weird, isn't it? I don't like this. <laughs> what is happening? Did Lisa know you were the cause for what happened in the past? I don't think so. But that doesn't make sense. Yeah, she wouldn't have known. She wasn't even at her home, too. Where is she? Your mind is full of questions. You couldn't figure out why Lisa didn't show up. Instead of thinking about it, you went to sleep as your mind feels like it's about to explode. Okay, I'm gonna leave that episode there. <laughs> right on the cliffhanger. Sorry. <laughs> But yeah, I had to end it there because I ran out of time for recording. But this was an interesting episode. I'm a little scared to see what happens next, but I still can't wait. Still loving this game. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like. And if you want to see what happens next and support my channel, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye!